so good afternoon students uh, this particular problem uh, i have asked you to do it uh, as a home, homework assignment but anyway i will solve it here just uh, go through and then you can change the values numerical values and then you can practice another problem so the problem says uh, for the frame and loading shown in the figure determine the components of all forces acting on member abc so they have asked only the member abc so what are the components of force sort then okay so as we discussed in the class so if any frame is given so immediately first you have to draw the free body diagram of the entire frame so free body diagram we can draw so this one we are going to draw for the entire frame okay so for the entire frame, if you are drawing, you know the point A is having, this point is having a pinned support. And then here you can see the point E is having a roller support. Okay. And then, you know, here at point D, we are having 20 kilo newton force. Okay. And then uh, the distance are given. So first I am taking the point A. And then I am moving to point B. Then I am moving to the point C. So similarly I am drawing another member from here B. That is point E. And then there is an another member EC. And then at point D we are having a force of 20 km. Okay, hope you understood. So D to C distance is 5 meter and E to D distance is 5 meter. And this entire distance that is A to E is 4 meter. Okay. And you know that it is approximately, the B point is approximately in the middle of AC and EA. So this distance may be 4 by 2. So this distance will be to meet. Okay. So once I am taking this as a free body diagram, so now I have to come to the support. So we are having a pin support and then roller support. So this pin joint, you know that uh, we have seen that pin support will have two reactions. That is, here I am taking it as vertical reaction okay, and horizontal reaction. Okay, AX and AY. This direction we are assuming, okay, uh, based on our calculation, if suppose we are getting a negative values, we will change the direction. And in roller support, as we discussed that, we will have one reaction that is, I can take it as EX. So definitely along this direction, there is no restriction. So this EY value will be equal to zero. So no need to consider this, okay. No need to consider. So only we are having AX, AY and EX for the entire frame of this problem. So now we have to calculate the reaction AX, AY and EX. So for that we have the equilibrium condition. So we know that the first condition what we are going to substitute is moment about any one point is equal to zero. So I am here going to take E point is equal to zero you know that clockwise is positive we are assuming it that means at point e we are having only one reaction that is ex okay and then uh, and these are the dimensions okay and point a we are having two reactions that is ay and then the horizontal is ex so we are going to calculate only the values of AY, AX and the first one is moment about E point is equal to zero. So what we are doing is we are taking this particular point that is point E and then we are calculating. So with respect to E point you see EX will not create any moment. And then along the line only the force AY is also acting. So perpendicular distance 
for ay component is zero so ay will not create any moment so only the forces which will create moment is ax because it is having a perpendicular distance of 4 meter and then uh, 20 kilo newton which is having a perpendicular distance of 5 meter with respect to point e so if i am writing the first force ax the ax force this one the ax force if i am holding at point e okay and the rotation is permitted so this ax force acting towards right will make the entire frame to rotate in clockwise direction so it is positive so i am taking ax multiplied with 4 okay and similarly uh, when i am taking the force 20 kN and i am holding at point e and the rotation is permitted and when a force is 20 kN is acting at point this point d then obviously this frame will rotate in clockwise okay so the distance is 5 meter you know very well the perpendicular distance the numerical value is 20 kN so plus 20 into 5 so you will get equal to 0 you have to equate so that you can get ax is equal to minus 100 by 4 that is minus 25 kilo newton that means ax is acting 25 kilo newton is the value but it is acting on towards left this is very important okay this is the answer for ax and once you got AX, we know the second condition, that is to calculate the value of AY, that is summation of forces vertical, that is if it is acting upward, we are taking as positive as equal to zero. So when we are assuming that, you know the forces 20 kilo newton and AY is acting in the vertical direction no other forces in the system is acting so I can write a y is upward a y and you know the 20 kilo newton is acting downwards so minus 20 is equal to 0 from that we will get a y is equal to 20 kilo newton that means it is acting upward the components of all forces acting on member a b c uh, so now we are going to draw the free body diagram diagram of A, B, C. Okay. Before that I want to recollect that is we have calculated the AX because it's towards left 25 kilo newton and then we have calculated AY that is 20 kilo newton. Now we are going to concentrate only on member A, B, C. Okay. So now when I am calculating the forces which are acting on this particular member so I have to draw the free body diagram so at point A I know that it is AX and then AY okay this is at point A and I can draw the line so B point and then this is C point so this is B and this is I can take it as C when I am considering the point B, so the force is acting along the line, okay, of BE. So it should not miss it. The force will act along BE. And then, uh, one more thing, you know that, that is here we are having C. And this point is D, you know that, okay. But I am considering only the member ABC. When I am considering the member ABC, the, at point B, the force is acting along the line BE. So please take another force is acting along the member BE. Okay. So the assumption should be BX and then BY. Please make a note of it. So BX and BY is the assumption. This distance you know that that is 2 meter. And then uh, D to C distance, you know that 5 meter. E to D is 5 meter. And when you are coming to the point C, it is, the assumption is CY and then CX. So when they are asking the member forces, so you have to take the member and then you have to give the force.
forces related to that particular joint. So each joint is pinned, so we are having two forces, AX, AY, BY and BX and CX and CY. Okay. When we are calculating member forces. Okay. And now, uh, anyway, you know the distance from E to A. This distance is uh, 4 meter. So we know the equilibrium condition. Again, we are going to solve the unknown uh, reaction forces that is CX, CY and BX, BY because we have already calculated AX and AY. So for that, we know the equation. So in the first one I am going to take because uh, AX, AY we know, uh, BX, BY we don't know and CX, CY we don't know. So we are going with moment about the point C is equal to 0. That is summation of moment about point C is equal to 0. So we are considering clockwise as positive. So when I am taking this as positive, clockwise is positive, so you know that moment point at the point uh, C we are having two forces that is CY and CX. So these two things will not create any moment because with respect to the point C the perpendicular distance is zero for these two forces that is CX and CY will not create any moment. So coming to the next one you are having point B you are having two forces BY and BX. So the BY, when I am holding at C point and rotation is permitted, the BY force will make the frame to rotate in counterclockwise. So I have to take minus BY, okay? And then you know the perpendicular distance is 5 meters. So multiply it with 5. This is 1. Second one, BX, I am taking the force BX, so I am holding at C and then I am applying a horizontal force BX. This will also make it to rotate in counterclockwise. So it will be minus BX into, so when I am calculating from the C point, the BX is having a distance of 2 meter. Okay, so you have to be very careful because this line it's joining here. This is the perpendicular distance. 2 meter is the perpendicular distance. So Bx into 2. Okay. And next one is I am having uh, another force, two forces that is at point A. So Ax again in the same direction of Bx will make, make the frame to rotate in counterclockwise. So it will be minus Ax. The perpendicular distance will be 4 meter. And the next one is you have AY, okay. This AY, you know that it is acting upwards when I am holding at point C at a distance of 10 meter, okay, at a distance of 10 meter. So this AY force will make the frame to rotate in clockwise. So it is positive AY into 10 is equal to 0. Okay. So once you once you know that AX and AY value, say so AX you know that uh, 25 and the AY value we have calculated as 20, AX is 25. So once you are substituting, we know the relationship between BY and BX. So as we discussed in the class, so BY by BX is equal to so you know that this vertical distance is 2 meter and then uh, this horizontal distance is 5 meter. So BY, this is BY and this is BX. Okay. So BY by BX is equal to 2 by 5. So once you know that uh, we can take uh, BY in terms of BX that is 2 by 5 bx and then this value you can substitute here and then we can calculate the value bx so once you are substituting and calculating bx value i am getting it as 25 kilonewton that is in positive i am getting so whatever assumptions i have made that is bx is acting towards left this is correct okay so Bx is acting towards left. Okay. What are you getting? Towards left. After that I have to calculate 
another one by so you know the formula so by is equal to 2 by 5 of 25 kilo newton because bx is 25 so obviously i'll get 10 kilo newton here also i'm getting positive value that is by is equal to 10 kilo newton that is acting towards down okay hope you got it i think so this is also done so once you have done these two things then we can move to the next one that is we have to calculate the cx and cy okay so to calculate cx and cy so you know the free body diagram from that so this is cy and this is cx so you know the free body diagram uh, that is here you are having ax and you are having ay and then here you are having uh, by and then bx and then the last point you are having cx and then cy as per our assumption okay the whatever we have calculated till now the directions are like this so you know that this is point a this is point b this is point c so we have the equilibrium condition equation so what i am substituting here is summation of forces along horizontal is equal to zero towards right is positive okay so once you are having this equation then you can substitute the values that is cx okay cx is positive and then you know this minus bx and then minus ax is equal to zero so you know the value of bx and ax so you know the value of bx and ax so cx minus 25 minus 25 is equal to zero okay i substituted the value so cx will be 50 kilo newton so whatever our assumption directions are direction is correct okay the next one is we are having another unknown is cy so cy we have to calculate so we are having the another equation that is summation of fy is equal to zero where upward is positive we are assuming it so in that condition you are having cy force by force and you are having another force that is ay okay so ay is up so i am taking so ay is also up so cy plus cy minus by is equal to zero so you know the ay value that is 20 and then cy value we have to calculate and the by value we have already calculated that is 10 so from this we can so you can say that uh, cy is equal to 10 kilo newton which is acting towards down okay this is the answer of cy here in the frame so i can write that um the ax value is like this and ay value is like this so ay is 20 kilo newton and ax is 25 kilo newton okay and then at point B, if I remember force, BY and BX is acting like this. So BX is acting uh, towards left, that is 25 kilo newton. And the BY is having an 10 kilo newton. And if you are asking C, so CX is acting like this, that is the value of 50 kilo newton. And you can mark it here as 10 kilo newton. So now you can see that Ay is 20 kilo newton, Ax is 25 kilo newton, Bx is 25 kilo newton, By is 10 kilo newton, and then Cx is equal to 50 kilo newton, and Cy is equal to 10 kilo newton. Okay. So this is the answer for the member force. Okay. So here also you can write 20 kilo newton. 25 kilo newton this is 25 kilo newton this is 10 kilo newton and this is cy so it should be in opposite 10 kilo newton and then 50 kilo newton okay this so this is your answer. If you have queries if you have you can call me otherwise you can ping me in whatsapp thank you